So with the abysmal announcement of Red Dead 1 coming to PS4 and Switch sometime soon, I thought I would jump back into Red Dead Redemption 2's online just to see how much it's changed since launch. I think the last time I played this was like 3 years ago or something, and from what I've garnered online, it's pretty much dead. So let's just see how true that is, shall we? So the first thing I thought I would do, other than gawk at my awful outfit, is try what I used to do online, which is bounty hunting. So let's head over to the nearby town and get started. So let's see what bounties we have, eh? Wait, prestigious bounty hunter license? I thought I already had that. It wants me to spend 15 gold for it? All right, whatever. I somehow have 52 gold bars anyway. All right, this one seems the most lucrative. Let's go with her. God, this outfit really makes me look like a knockoff Lemmy from Motorhead. Right, let's hide and get the jump on her. How have you seen me? Do you have x-ray eyes? All right, screw it, we're gunning it for her. Gotcha. All right, let's see how much a legendary bounty... Okay, we'll ignore that I now have a clone. How much did a legendary bounty net me? $51. Okay, not bad for $18.99, I guess. Let's go get some new clothes and out of this outfit. What on earth is going on with these prices? $200 for a coat? $200 for a poncho? A poncho that has the same graphics quality as the PS1, apparently. God, these look awful. What's this? You can buy emotes? $200 for a single emote, what the hell? And what is this outfit for nearly $600? Oh, I see. It's a combination of bondage gear and a witch hunter from Warhammer. All right, guess I'm making an outfit from what I already have. There, a little more plain and a bit more Chris Pratt from Magnificent Seven. Right, I suppose I should look at some weapons too to make bounty hunting a little easier. Why are all these prices so screwed? $600 for a single Mauser. That's the equivalent of $22,000 today. I could buy five nice Reliant Robins for that. And you know what? I'd rather have them than a pistol. $400 for a bandolier so I can look like Rambo. It doesn't even sit on my character properly. It slightly hovers. Okay, so we're not buying any new guns either. I suppose the last thing to check are my deliveries. Jesus! You will join me in the underworld. Your soul belongs to me now. Well, it's nice that they've got the Shadow Demon working the counter. I'll just collect all my posts and be on my way. Right, let's travel somewhere new and pick up another bounty. I think I'll go for the middle bounties now. Let's see how they do. Oh, okay, I don't remember having to do this, but sure, let's hunt for clues, gang, to find this bounty. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Nah. -uh. Oh, really? He's just here, sitting by the side of the road? That's hardly hiding from the law now, is it? Right, come on then. I think I might try something that used to work back in the day when I used to play this. If you wanted to get the most money from a bounty mission, you'd have to take them alive and then wait for the last 30 seconds to hand them in. I know, it's dumb, I don't understand it either, but let's give it a go. Yes, I really did just stand here for 10 minutes just to test this. After handing him in, we got $33. Not bad. Now I'll compare against another single bounty. Right, here we are. Hand her in and $24. So you do get more money, but you could just complete them quicker, so there's no real point to waiting anymore. Thank God. As a final test, I'll try and do four bounties in one, on my own. Because no one else plays this game. So I rock up to the spot, kill all four instead of taking them alive, and ferry them back to Armadillo. Minus one because I didn't have enough time on my own. So I've objectively done worse, right? $23.62. They knocked off about 38 cents from my bill for doing worse. Okay, who came up with this pricing structure? So there you have it. If you want to make the most money bounty hunting, just do the middle contracts as fast as possible, or have friends. So the next role I'll try out is the naturalist. This is actually a role that's quite new, I think, as I've never seen it before. I'll just head over to Strawberry to find the starting mission. On my way, I refill my hearts by filling up on some minty plump bird, but I do that every week. So we just have to talk to someone in here and get the license. 25 gold bars? This game just wants to spend all your money. So what you have to do for... Ah, I see the hackers have revealed themselves. Interesting. 
So anyway, as I was saying, what you do for the naturalist role is knock out animals using these sedative bullets that this woman sells and then collect data on the animals in the game. Now what I thought you had to do was just shoot animals once with this bullet and they'll eventually fall asleep. But it turns out, this game just wants you to mag dump as many rounds as you can until they collapse. Once they're knocked out, you walk up to them and collect your sample. I'm not sure what data you can glean off whatever I sucked out of this animal, but sure, whatever, she's paying. There was a slight problem with this though. I thought this is all you had to do to collect data. What you're supposed to do is all of this. So once I realized that, I gave it a go. I knocked out this rabbit, got my sample, and then I needed him to be awake so I could study and track him. But I didn't buy any of the animal reviver that she was selling. I guess I could just kick it to knock it back awake? Oh, maybe not. Well, I'm not letting good food go to waste. You know, I don't think I'm getting the hang of this. She even wants you to collect data on farm animals, which seems kind of wrong to me. Sure, let's just rock up to this farmyard and tranquilize all the animals. What the hell is that? It appears the hackers are back. Oh man, they get you too. So I did spend quite some time doing this over the course of a couple of days, but I eventually came to a conclusion. This role is boring. Seriously, even the payout isn't that great, and it takes ages to fill each collection. Honestly, I think you're just better off hunting and selling the animal parts for money. Speaking of which... So instead of researching animals, let's just skin some and get trading. All this really takes is wandering around and hunting animals for their skins. The higher the stars, the better. I'll take this opportunity of hunting to shout on my Twitch where a lot of this hunting took place. Head on over and follow for more moments like this. Nice. Make a nice hat out of you. Ooh. Mighty big bear. Is it two bears? Give me the big gun. 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 Where are you? Oh no! <laughs> Bosh. Now I've been hunting for some time and I'd say I've got quite a decent amount of skins and items. Let's go hand them into Crips. Alright, what do you think, Crips? Oh man, we're gonna need a lot more. Occasionally Crips will need products to process all the skins and he'll send you on some sort of mission to get the equipment. Although I found that for some reason these missions lagged my PC into oblivion and were unnecessarily long. Anyway, once he has enough product ready, we can ship it off long distance to make the most money. Just gotta take it to the sell point. This won't take long, will it? Board. 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 Bored, 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 boring, boring, dull, tedious, I'm not a hate. annoying, backache, arm ache, cramp, miserable. Oh my god, that was long. I just don't care about this shooting sequence. You can't make this mission more interesting by adding some rando NPCs at the end, Rockstar. All that for nearly $80? That took way too long. Hmm, what about doing my moonshine business? Surely that can't be worse. So moonshine requires quite a bit of startup capital. If you've already got the shack, the moonshine still takes an initial cost of $30 to start production. That's no biggie, let's just get it started. While we wait, moonshine also has some kind of story mode featuring quests and all sorts. So let's hop into one of these and see what it's like. This mission needs stealth, so this is Red Dead's version of Metal Gear playing out right now. We have to poison our rival's moonshine to make ours better, somehow. Right, one more barrel. Let's just snipe them like I've done for the last few. Oh come on, how did he signal for help with an arrow in him? Whatever, let's dynamite this shit. Let's go. So how much do we get for doing these missions then? $24. This game really doesn't like giving you money. 
Okay, in that time though, our moonshine is ready to ship, so let's do it. I guess this is just the same really as trading. I remember having revenue agents set up roadblocks though that we have to fight past. Oh yeah, here's one. I'll just snipe them and... And that's moonshining. And now we come to the final role, the collector. The collector is the simplest but most boring way to make money in this game. Literally all you have to do is find collectibles hidden around the map and then sell them. I say hidden, in reality you can just pull up this map on your second screen and it will show you where everything is. So this role is really about putting up this map and a video or some music in the background and just collect all the things. But surely this role won't make the most money, right? Yeah, if you want real money in this game, just do collecting. Then do what you want with all this cash, it literally takes no time at all. So Red Dead Online, does it live up to its name? Yeah, pretty much. The online for this game, in my opinion, is empty. Empty of players, empty of content, and really empty of fun in reality. Sure, there are still people playing it despite Rockstar effectively washing their hands of it, and if they're enjoying it, then good for them. It's honestly not for me anymore, which is a shame. Red Dead Online could have been 10 times what it is right now. It could have been brilliant. I think the Wild West is a great setting for an online game, either like this or an MMO or something. But without the amount of players this had on release, and the fact that the content for this mode has dried up, Red Dead Online almost has no point to playing it. If you just want to mess around on your own, but with the items from online, you can just mod them into single player. Also, while there weren't many of them, I did see quite a few hackers and modders just freely wandering around the game, most likely because Rockstar doesn't care anymore. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Rockstar shuts Red Dead Online down sometime soon, because I can't see it making them any money and surely there aren't enough players to warrant keeping the servers going. Going. But what do you think? Is Red Dead Online dead to you? Are you still having fun in it? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this content and want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.